Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Today we are going to try some new products from Kai Cosmetics. Now, Kai Cosmetics is one of my favorite brands. I love their eyeshadow formula. It's one of the best eyeshadow formula I've seen. And I have two of their palettes. Now, I did try their face primers. I love that one too. I also tried their foundation and concealer foundation. No, not really my favorite. I try not to use it. But it's not, you know, terrible, terrible. Though concealer is a disaster for me. I love their cream highlighters. It's one of the best formula. I love their lipsticks. And now I don't have the new version. I have those creamy, the first lipsticks that they came out. The, I think it's called cream lipstick. I'm not really sure. But I really like those. I love their eye, eye brightener. I use it every day. And... Let's just say, it's a, like, a, like a me. I have some problem, products that I like and some products I don't like. Their Christmas calendar was not one of my best calendars, but it was okay. Calendar, it got a lot of hate. But if you want to see that, everything is on my channel, every single video. So if you're interested to see. But today I'm going to try some new products from Kai Cosmetics. Now I haven't tried or bought their cream stick uh, foundation formula. I'm not really sure if you're interested to see that because it's like a light coverage and I don't usually go for light coverage. But I do have their new single eyeshadows. I also have their, their new Kai All Crease All Eyes on Me eyeshadow base. I also have some products from the Christmas calendar. I also have their setting powder. So and couple of brushes so if you want to see my and hear my thoughts about the primer and also the eyeshadows and the powder then please keep on watching so i did came a little bit closer now i'm going to moisturize my skin i'm not going to use i have plenty of item the serum but i'm not going to use anything i'm going to go in with the cream first so it has time to sink into my skin. Now, I first thought that I would be using a full face of Kai Cosmetics, but it's not fair because I feel like I did that video with the foundation and other products. So I'm just going to concentrate on this. But if you, is there anything you want me to try from Kai Cosmetics, let me know down below. I'm also going in with this eye on the eye product. I don't know what to call it, serum or cream. Not really sure, but I really enjoy it. Now, I really like the powders. I'm really interested to see if this is going to last. I also am almost finished with trying a bunch of new eyeshadow primers. And that video will come up in January, I promise. I, I say that for a year now that that will be out, but I'm working on it. I'm going to go in and try this. I'm going to wear it all day today. It's very early in the morning. It doesn't have coverage, which I feel like it's a bummer because I have plenty of discoloration on my eyes, but I do use the Urban Decay base and it's one of the bases that really, really worked for me. Also the Wet n Wild. I have that new a new package of that eyeshadow base it's one of my favorites drugstore it's if you have oily eyelids that one is really good but i am going to review a couple of others that i really enjoy and like and some that i really hate it blended nice i mean feels almost like urban decays one i'm going to in with this powder they have different shades i went for translucent matte they also have the glowy versions but i love the packaging the, the fingertips or oh, stain but what i like about it is the how it's packed you can turn around and then you release some powder that's really really good i also have their red uh what's called the christmas or calendar advent calendar sponge so i'm setting this yeah i can't talk about the powder while i'm using it on my eyes, but we'll see how it's going to work on the face. Okay, so I have their three new eyeshadows or single eyeshadows. I love the packaging. I think I've got this like a bundle and they have more shades, but this is 
the shades that I really wanted to go. This is a uh, Bambi, it's a matte eyeshadow that looks like a grayish brown color. Really like that. Really looks really, really nice. Then I have a lot of the packaging, really love the packaging. Then we have a more that's a shimmer shade eyeshadow. It's like a pinkish champagne color. And then we have another matte that's Cuddles. I love this one. This is really pretty. Like a nude pinkish brown shade. I'm going to go with that one. And I'm going to use the Kaya Cosmetics brush. And this is number five. Like a big fluffy brush. Now they do have some kick back, but not too much. They're not too powdery. I need my coffee. Yes, and I drink my coffee from my Animal Crossing mug that I got from my sister. Okay, let's go with the brush. Brush, no. The shadow. Can't really see it, but it's like a translucent. Yeah. If I look at my eyelids, it's visible. But it's just going to make those other shades blend more beautifully. I'm really liking this shade. That will be also nice if I go with a dark brown shade and also apply some concealer and put this shade on. That will be nice. Maybe we should try it. Okay, so this one blends nice. Can't really see it that much, but it's a beautiful shade. Now let's go in. I do need a smaller brush and I can't find my other brushes from Kaya Cosmetics. It's in... I have like 200, if not more brushes in front of me and it's really hard to find what I'm looking for. So I'm going in with this matte Bambi shade that looks stunning. It's definitely my cup of tea. This one doesn't have a lot of kickback. I think that's what it's called. Let's see. Oh, I love that. I love Kaya Cosmetics eyeshadows. I think I said it like a couple of times. And I have plenty of videos with uh, the Kai Cosmetics products. If you want to see, I'll try to remember to put some up here or link them down below if you're interested to see those. Oh, this is a nice shade. Let's build it up. So I'm going in with the first shade that we used just to kind of blend the edges a little bit more, but I'm going to go in with this brush that's number three from Kaya Cosmetics. Yeah, that's blending nice. It kind of covered a little bit too much of that shade, so I'm going back again. So I feel like these are a little bit different formula than the eyeshadows from the palettes. They're not bad, but I feel like the palette's a little bit easier to blend or work with. Okay, I'll leave it like this. Then I'm going to go and use my finger with this shimmery shade called Amour. Oh, nice. It looks more golden, the eye. Oh, I love that shade. Oh, that's pretty. I love that. And this one is gorgeous. It's beautiful. This one is blendy and it's working really, really nice. So I'm going to go and do my foundation and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I did went with my Rimmel Long Lasting foundation and also my NARS concealer with this sponge. Now, it's firmer than I would like and it's not, I don't know, it's not my favorite sponge. It kind of reminds me of that texture from Sheen. It kind of, it's a little bit too firm and I don't know, it's just not my favorite texture. I haven't tried their regular. This is the red one. I don't know if it's any different between the colors. Uh, they have a nude, nude one, but mm, I don't know. I don't know if I would buy it. Okay, so let's go and use some powder and see if we can make this work. It's not like it's not working, but you know. Let's see, I'm going to blend a little bit more creases under the eyes. And let's go with the powder. I do like to go in with a lot of powder. I know maybe I shouldn't in my age, but... Ooh, 
that looks smooth. It gives me two face powder wipes vibes. I like the two face peach uh, powder because it kind of remind removes my I don't know my pores and makes everything look smooth and nice. And this is definitely giving me giving me those vibes. Oh, I like that. Well, like that. I like the powder powder a lot. First impression of the powder, I love it. Set everything. Oh, I forgot to use the brush. That. Let's use this brush for under the eyes. I like pressing with the sponge just because it gets really oily. But this is really soft. Okay, let's go with the huge one. This is another new brush, number F16, and the one that we had in the eyes is F15. So let's see, F16. This came a little bit crushed in the packaging. I smudged a little bit, but when I wash it, it's going to be fine. Picks up a lot of powder, which is nice. Yeah, I like this brush. I mean, I don't usually put my powders with a brush, but maybe I should start doing that. Yeah, I like this powder a lot. Everything looks really nice and smooth. I like it. Yes, for the powder. The eyeshadows I do like. Just feel like the Bambi was a little bit harder to work with. Maybe it's just me today. Uh, usually I don't have that problem. But I feel like, ooh, I don't know. It's not the same formula as the, it feels like it's not the same formula as the pal palettes. I don't, I'm not really sure. Okay, I'm going to go in with some powder or bronzer to face chocolate. So lay Bare Minerals Gen Nude in that peach though, it's a little bit warmer than maybe I should go for, but it's what I have here in front of me. I'm going in with my Luna Beauty um, LBE7 brush and I'm going to go in with Bambi shade and smudge it under my lower lash line. That's what I'm doing. I'm not going to do more. And then I do want to go with eyeliner. Now I got this Kaya Pencil eyeliner in, oh, it's more like a brown shade. I know what shade it is. It looks brown. And I'm going to, I got this in the calendar. So I'm Christmas calendar. So I am, or advent calendar. So I am going to use it today. Ooh. Oh, it's creamy. Oh, I love that. I don't usually do eyeliners because I have really hooded eyes and I'm really bad. But this is making everything so much easier. I'm not going to do any wing though. This looks to be like a shimmery. Yeah, it does have um, like a satin finish to it. Okay, that's nice. It goes really nice with this makeup look. It's not matte, which is a little bit disappointing. I was wishing for a matte one, but it's not matte. It doesn't matter. We can make it work or use it. We'll definitely use it. Okay, so I'm going to fix my eyebrows, set my makeup, and uh, I'm going to come back and use some more products. Okay, guys, so I did apply some um, eyebrows. <laughs> Let's go set everything with my favorite setting spray. It's one of my favorites. It's also one of the new setting spray that I have or new in the collection. I like how the eyeshadow turned out though, to be honest, I really like it. It's really soft, nice. And the powder looks really, really good. Okay, so I am going to line my lips, 
before because they look really really bad and I got this uh, lip liner in the calendar too it says Kaya Nogat okay so I don't have their lip sticks right now but I'm going to go in with Robert Castella's Nogat I think that this is the lip gloss, one of my favorite lip gloss. I love this so much I bought a new one. This lip gloss is one of my favorite lip glosses. Okay, so I'm going to do the mascara now. And I already reviewed their mascaras when they launched. I think it was three years ago. Two or three years ago, I'm not really sure. I think it was their first product. And I did review them on my channel, the Vava Volume and Vips. Uh, what's called? I forgot the name. Let's see which one I have. This came in uh, like a um, smaller version. This is the Bips Boom Boom Lash, yes. And I like both of them. Uh, they did dry out really fast, but the applicator is really nice. This is one application. So this is the two coats of the mascara. Now, this is my makeup. Okay, I like the eyeshadows. They're really nice. Uh, the shimmer shades is definitely my favorite. Oh, I got some mascara here. Mm -hmm, that's not good. I like the liner. Uh, I love the powder. I really, really enjoy the powder. And uh, I do have like a healthier, nice satin glow to my face. I like that. And I'm going to set Yes, let's use the not set. I'm going to use some cream bronze, not the bronzer. They have the cream bronzer too. I don't have that one, but the highlighting. And let's use some of the finger. Okay, that's it. So let's see. The time is right now 9 and 32. So let's just say 9.30. So I've been having this eyeshadow primer since 9 o'clock. So for 30 minutes, everything looks pretty good. I'm going to wear this the whole day and try it out. See how the eyeshadows are holding and the eyeshadow primer. I'm going to uh, go on with my day. I'm going to do my hair and I'll do a couple of check-ins. So see you in seconds. Okay, guys. Welcome back. Okay, let, let's just take off these glasses. Oh my god, it's been a really really long day. My hair looks like a mess. I had this nice and curly hair, but to, I've been out for hours in the rain and wind and if anything looks good and I had mask on for hours, if anything looks good, that's a miracle. But let's look at the eyeshadow. I can say it's still there. And it did fade a little bit, but not too, too much. Let me just come closer. Uh, it did fade a little bit, but if you can see, it's now 8 p.m. And I had this eyeshadow primer on since 9 this morning. So it's been 11 hours, 11 hours, and it's holding this good. It's a miracle. I really, really like this eyeshadow base. I'll definitely wear it tomorrow too to work to see if it actually really holds this long because I love it and the eyeshadows worked beautifully the eyeliner is still a little bit of vis visible the mascara looks good though I do have flakes and if you can see it flaked so I don't like that unfortunately the powder looks still good I did have a mask on the whole day and I have to say the lip liner hold really really good it was long wearing and I still have foundation on it did went off just a little bit on my chin and just a little bit here on my nose but I had a mask on the whole uh, for two and a half three hours in rain and in wind and it was terrible okay terrible but 
my makeup still looks good. So I love the powder, I love the eyeshadows, and I love the eyeshadow uh, eyeshadow base. And I have to say, everything I tried today worked beautifully. I really enjoy these Sky Cosmetics products, and uh, like I said, guys, there are some hits and some misses with this brand, but I really enjoy most of their products and I'm really happy. I love the setting spray, I love the eyeshadows. Like I said, whoop, I just dropped the primer, I'm tired. But there are so many good products. So please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Don't forget to like this video. Let me know down below if there is anything you want me to try more from K Cosmetics or another brand. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.